Okay, I'm over here uh, with a DeWalt pressure washer. Bought at one of these big box stores. And I don't know if that's the problem. Maybe I should have went to a local guy here that sells them. But anyway, a couple years, not even many uses. And uh, we go to power wash the uh, property today. Get it out, connect it, start it up, and I get no pressure. Nothing's coming out of the hose. Trickle in, but you don't get pressure. No power washing. So we're gonna fix it today. So if you're joining me, you're probably wondering the same thing about your DeWalt power washer or other brands. And my first guess is gonna be the unloader. And it's an easy fix. Don't be running this thing to the store or to a repair center when you probably can do it yourself. So let me show you what I have here. It's a DeWalt. 3000 PSI model number 3025 2.5 gallon per minute 3000 PSI so the part that we want to look at is going to be this part right here I'm going to show you how to remove this and uh, once I get in there we'll go a little bit further but this might be my culprit right here from all the research I did so uh, let's get to it Okay, so the first thing you want to do is take the nut off right at the tip of the unloader. Take that nut off and then you want to take this off. Uh, I need an 18 wrench, which I don't have. So we're going to use this adjustable. It shouldn't be on here too tight. Let me see if this does it. You want to get these two parts off and then pull your spring out. So you should have three parts in your hands after that. Next, we're going to get this Allen wrench and we're going to undo the set screw right up under here, right there. So we're going to unscrew that. You just want to loosen it up because that's holding uh, the shaft of this. So you need to loosen this before you can unscrew this piece. So then we're going to turn this off as such. What I thought was a culprit is right here. You can see this pin up here. That is supposed to be, let's see if I can get that focused on there. This pin is supposed to be moving up and down and it's not moving whatsoever. So we need to get this fixed and then it should work perfect. Let's hit this. Okay, all I did was tapped it on the ground. And now we can see that this is moving. That's all I had to do. This was to up. Oh, look at that. It got a little bit of a cut going on there. Yeah, it would've, must have been from turning this off without a wrench. But anyway, that looks like that's going to be good to go. So we're going to put everything back together. Reverse of what I just did. So the function of this unloader 
and the parts probably under warranty uh, but like I said this was a five minute fix once you have the right tools and uh, all the machines are going to have this regardless of the brand that you're using or that you, that you have and the configuration is just going to be a little different but they're all basically going to look the same so you'll be able to find this on your machine and uh, once you do there's a couple different ways that this is going to come off the function of this there's a little ball inside here and the ball relieves pressure but if this isn't working to push in pressure can't build up in here to give you your pressure when you go to pressure wash so this needs to be functioning properly so like I said easy fix don't run it to a repairman and pay all kinds of money and get a new one you can fix this it will probably jam up again it's gonna be another easy fix for me in another year when I go to use it but uh, stick that back in there push the, the threads in I want to push your threads in and then we're going to tighten this up ah, there one back it, it went make sure you you give this a, a couple taps or something make sure it's all the way in it's in and we'll screw this back on Okay, nice and tight. Do not forget to set your set screw back in there. That'll keep it from vibrating out or vibrating loose. There you have it. Put your spring back on. Screw this nut back in. Try to remember about where this was when you took it off. That's going to be important. I kind of remember it by uh, this looking at it when I first took it off. Because I think this is going to regulate your pressure and you don't want to have too much pressure. You could ruin your pump. Looks like about right here okay let's see if this thing works one thing I forgot to mention is if you can't find this there's a rubber cap that goes over it so you're gonna want to put that back on kind of just twist it on there and we're back in business. That goes on there. It's gonna hold everything together. Okay, there you have it. Simple one, two, three repair. No need to call a service man, take it out. Even if it's under warranty, it took me literally five minutes once you had the right tools to get your tools together. That was a five minute fix. And that probably happens to 95% of the brands that are out there. I hope this helped. The DeWalt 3000 PSI 3025 model. That's all you have to do, folks. I'm glad you joined me, Billy Roar.